welcome to Expat Living, the very special editions on the occasion of the Lunar New Year of the GOAT. This day, that atmosphere is overwhelming from every corner of the country, from north to the south, from the urban area to the rural area. As a foreigner, if this is your first day ever in the country, you may be wilder with how local people prepared and enjoy date holiday and how things go around date, the most important time of the year. But if you already have some experience uh, during this time of the year, that is truly a heartwarming season. These special editions of Expat Living will feature a special foreigner who has been living in Vietnam long enough to experience more than a dozen of date holiday in Vietnam. Let's find out who's the one. Meet Sadi Salama, Palestinian ambassador to Vietnam. He has been here so long, he describes himself as being Vietnamized. Among the 60 foreign ambassadors currently working in Vietnam, Sadi is one of the few that can speak Vietnamese like his native language. With just a few days before date holiday, everyone at the Hanoi Bay's Palestinian embassy is trying to grab up their work. And for this diplomat, he still has large amount of paperwork to deal with before he can enjoy his 13th date holiday in the country. The last few years has seen some major steps forward in bilateral relations between Vietnam and Palestine, especially in the field of trade and investment. I'm very happy to say that during the last year of my assignment here in Vietnam, we were able to lay the foundation of the legal basics of the bilateral relation between Vietnam and Palestine. We have signed a lot of cooperation agreement, which it's very necessary to push forward the relationship to a high level. Among the tons of work prior to the date holiday, the embassy staff to give Sadi a reminder that it is actually his own birthday. Tôi rất hiếm tổ chức những ngày sinh nhật mà tôi nhớ cách đây hơn 34 năm khi tôi mới sang Việt Nam trên cương vị là lưu học sinh Palestine ở Việt Nam. Lần đầu tiên tôi tổ chức một ngày sinh nhật là nhờ các chị em Palestine hỏi ấy có một cái đoàn của Liên hiệp phụ nữ Palestine sang Việt Nam, họ biết đây là ngày sinh nhật của tôi và họ tổ chức cho tôi một ngày sinh nhật. Đấy cũng là một cái kỷ niệm có ý nghĩa. Cảm ơn các bạn. Chúc các bạn vui vẻ. Sadi Salama first came to Vietnam in 1980s as an overseas student when he was only 18 years old. After graduation with excellent results, Sadi became an interpreter for important meetings between leaders of Vietnam and Palestine. In 1989, he returned to Vietnam as second in command at the Palestinian embassy here. Later on, although he came into office in diplomatic positions in several countries around the world, Vietnam remained in his mind, thoughts and feelings. Faith brought him back to Vietnam as he was designated as Palestinian ambassador to Vietnam in 2009 until the present day. So how about the personal and casual life of uh, Mr. Sadi as a foreigner who has a lot of experience living in the country, especially in Hanoi? Well, today I made my way to visit his home in the very heart of Hanoi to find out what he has for this date holiday. Hello. How are you? Please yeah. come in. How are you? Yeah, yeah I'm fine. Thank Welcome you. Welcome to our place. At the ambassador's residence, a French-style old villa, I was welcomed by Arabic traditional music and sweet Palestinian dates. This is Palestinian date. It's very famous in Palestine. This is around in your country. Yes, it is in one of the oldest cities in the world called Jericho. While I was enjoying the Palestinian snack, Sadi rummaged through his cupboard for his old album and keepsakes from the time he first came to Vietnam. He then proudly showed me how close he was with Yasser Arafat, the late Palestinian president. During more than 40 years of political relationship with Vietnam, Arafat visited Vietnam 10 times. And many of these times, Sadi was Arafat's interpreter. 
Sadi's task back then also allowed him to meet, talk and take photos with many Vietnamese high-ranking officials, including late General Võ Nguyen Zap, who he greatly admired. Sadi seems to remember the date and occasion in all of these old photos. This one with uh, His Excellency Vo Chi Kong. Old photo. This is 19, uh, I think 1990, 1989. Why you choose Vietnam at the first place and you have so many attachments with the country? I think uh, this is a fortune. When he was very young, the Palestinian people are going to face very difficult situations since there is foreigners who are occupying their land. Mm -hmm. And being interested to know what's going around the world day by day, year by year. I was following the development of the Vietnamese war, the Vietnamese resistance against the foreign invaders, and I was attracted by the heroic uh, struggle of the Vietnamese people. I never thought that I would be invited to come to Vietnam one day. But when I finished my secondary school in 1979, the PLO, Palestine Liberation Organization, offered me a scholarship to go and study outside of Palestine. And they offered me to go to three different countries. One of them was Vietnam, Romania, and Italy. And I take very fast decision. I would like to go to Vietnam. Faith indeed brought Sadi to Vietnam, where he fell in love with the land and people. He married a local woman, and his four children are now all grown up. This date holiday, although his wife, daughters, and son could not be in Vietnam for a family reunion, Sadi still enjoy his 13th date holiday in the country, just like a Vietnamese. What's your favorite things to do during date holiday? I often go and uh, purchase all the necessary things to welcome my guests and friends who often come visit me and greet me on the occasion of Tate. And if you would like to know more about that, I would like to invite you to join me okay. to go to the old streets where I, I can buy some things which serve the Tate celebration at my home. So if you have time, let us go together and see what we can Yeah, uh, today is a beautiful day outside, so yes, yes, yeah, yes, should it's we okay go? For me. It's okay for me, we can go. Let us go. Yeah, okay. let's go. Sadi's most familiar part of Hanoi and home to many of his memories. Coffee is very strong. And this coffee shop, I remember when I was in Vietnam at the early 80s, one of those coffee shops I often come and have uh, some coffee. And I think uh, this is not so far from the uh, Chaka street where I often eat Chaka. So I used to walk from that street coming here after, having, after having a very heavy lunch. Yeah. So we go here to have some coffee and have some fun with some friends. In Palestinian culture, coffee is the symbol of generosity. A welcome coffee at the beginning of a reception with a guest and a goodbye coffee at the end are the two common concepts in Palestine. That is why coffee has become an indispensable part of Sari's daily life. And this street coffee was once his most favorite spot in town. That's uh, very good, despite the uh, big change in Vietnam. But uh, those people, they still keep this place as a coffee shop. Low benefit, but they still uh, the keep my memories uh, fresh about the city of Hanoi. Knowing Hanoi's old quarter by heart, Sari is a familiar face to many locals. Just on the left of the coffee shop is a small shop making wooden stamps. Sadi has come here for personalized stamps several times before. Today, he wants to order a more complicated souvenir for friends for date holiday.
của người ấy mang từ một đất nước anh, anh hùng mang tên là Việt Nam nha cảm ơn nhá nha chào nhá chào nhá chào nhá Study House is full of Vietnamese handicrafts, but it seems he never has enough of this kind of artwork and mementos. Sophisticated Vietnamese handmade products from lacquerwares and purred inlaid wooden boxes are always at the top of his shopping list. Wandering and enjoying the atmosphere overwhelming every corners of the capital is also a hobby of Sadi in this time of the year. And some time for Sadi, socializing with shop sellers in Vietnamese and bargaining over the price make his walk more interesting. I'd like to see this. They have a lot of tea and coffee here. They basically have a lot of tea. They 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 have a lot of well, according to Vietnamese tradition, uh, Vietnamese people always visit their loved one or close friend during date holidays, so how about you? Well, I uh, think one of the uh, important person whom I often pay uh, uh, visit him is my teacher, the first uh, person in Vietnam who teach me the first word in Vietnamese. So I'm going to visit him to pay him my respect and to greet him on the occasion of the New Year. Oh, great idea. Why Why not? Uh, going to visit him now. I'm quite curious what he has to say about you as that's, a student. That's great if you'd like to join me and you would like to know a lot about my secrets, he might tell you a lot about me. So you are welcome to join me. Okay. Come, please. Yes, yes, yeah, yes, yes, you yes, show yes. me the way. Okay, yeah. let us go. Let us go. <laughs> Professor Hoàng Trọng Phiến, 83 years old was Sadi's first Vietnamese teacher. On a teacher-student reunion today, Sadi gave him a new Palestinian scarf, just like the one he gave his teacher more than 30 years ago. Professor Huang Chong Fien is among Vietnam's top professors of language and was the one who laid foundation for the Vietnamese language for foreigners' curriculum. After decades of teaching, 15 of his foreign students have become ambassadors. Anh này rất có ý chí về chuyện đó và hiểu biết Việt Nam càng kẻ bởi vì đây là cái cầu nối giữa đảng ta, nhân dân ta với các nước đó. Cho nên sẽ đi là một điều kiện như thế. More than just a teacher, Professor Hoàng Trọng Phiến is Sadi's close friend and helped him to find a Vietnamese girlfriend who is now his wife. This professor was even officiated at Sadi's wedding. After wandering through Hanoi's old quarter, sitting down for a cup of street coffee, buying Vietnamese handicrafts, and visiting old teacher, Sari just needs a beautiful peach blossom tree for his house this date holiday. I think uh, in Vietnam, there is a tradition every family used to uh, have one of these cherry blossoms at their houses because this brings luck and good fortune. Every year I used to come to uh, uh, Nhat Tan village mm -hmm. to buy uh, one of them and keep it uh, at home. Mm -hmm. And uh, if I am a really lucky person, 
on the first day of the year, so all the flowers are blooming. Yeah, blooming, and that means that I'm going to be a lucky person that year. Oh, that year. Yeah. This peach blossom tree is the result of the little journey through many corners of Hanoi of Mr. Sadi. And in Vietnam, they always provide a chance to go shopping, to decorate the house, or just to have a great year and dinner with your relatives and close friends. And today, I'm going to invite you to join in a special year and dinner hosted by, of course, the Palestinian ambassador to Vietnam, Mr. Sadi Salama. But first, we should check out the kitchen to see what to expect on the dinner table tonight. At the embassy's kitchen, the ambassador is joining his staff to prepare dinner. Together with Vietnamese specialties including chung cake, papaya sour salad and gang bong tha or the dried pork rind soup, ingredients for Palestinian typical dishes are being prepared. Mrs. Hong has been working for Palestinian embassy in Hanoi for 10 years now. She has now mastered how to cook some Palestinian specialties. Các món của Palestine ấy thì ở đây thì không biết là người ta có dạy hay không. Nhưng mà tôi được học qua các đại sứ. Thì tôi làm đại sứ Sadi này là đời thứ ba. Đại sứ rất thích nấu ăn mà đại sứ nấu ăn ngon cũng hướng dẫn tôi nhiều món. On the menu today, the ambassador is responsible for the Palestinian main course, makbula or upside down chicken rice. This is a very popular dish among Palestinians inside and outside Palestine. It is basically a layered port of chicken or lamb or other kind of meat, vegetables and rice. All the ingredients are cooked all together and then flipped over a serving big flat platter. Creating a beautiful cake life form. Usually, the Palestinian, when they would like to introduce their food, they introduce this kind of dishes to their foreign guests. We are proud of it, and today I am inviting all my Vietnamese friends on the occasion of the new year, and I am very happy and very proud to offer you, offer them this uh, famous Palestinian dish, makluba, upside down. It is now 6 p.m., and Sadi's guests started to arrive. Joining Professor Huang Chong Fien, Sadi's first teacher, are the film director Lei Guok and his family. Back in 1981, Lei Guok was among a few film directors from Vietnam Documentary Studio sent to Palestine to produce a film named The Motherland's Eyes. His close tie with the country has grown since then with lots of memories. Today, Guok presents some of them to Sadi as a New Year gift. Về Tổng thống Arafat bao giờ cũng có cái khăn, đấy là coi như trang phục của một đất nước. Đến giờ phút này ông coi như người nhà, ông thân tiện để nó bỏ cái khăn ra. Thì tự nhiên người tôi cứ dùng cả người lên, à, tôi lấy dưới bút ra tôi vẽ. À, vẽ ngay lúc bây giờ, Chứ lúc bây giờ là có thần, nhưng mà lúc khác thì tôi không có thần. Đấy, thế thì tôi vẽ nhé, vẽ thì các bạn Palestine thấy rất giống Tổng thống, mới đưa ra Tổng thống và đây là chữ ký của Tổng thống và ký của tổng thống và ngày đấy thì đây là cái quà tặng này tôi ép plastic để tặng ông Sadi Salama. This is a cozy year-end reunion between Vietnamese and Palestinian friends. Sadi's old friend Azad Sharo, a former diplomat and a journalist, is on a working trip to Vietnam. I was also very hard touched by by this visit because you know we knew Vietnam through uh, books before, but uh, this is the first time that we see what we have been learning and reading about Vietnam by re reality. Chuẩn bị đón năm mới và tiền năm cũ hôm nay tôi rất vinh dự đón tiếp các bạn. Bữa cơm này thì có những cái món ăn Việt Nam. Vì đã là bữa cơm tiễn một cái năm cũ và thôi cái năm mới thì phải có những cái món ăn Việt Nam. Đồng thời có một số món ăn Palestine. Hy vọng các bạn sẽ thích và xin cho các bạn ăn ngon miệng. Tôi là một người luôn luôn tự hào với những cái mối quan hệ tốt đẹp với các bạn. Và
sẽ mãi mãi là người bạn của các bạn như các bạn luôn luôn và mãi mãi là những người bạn của cá nhân tôi và của nhân dân Palestine chúng tôi đang đấu tranh vì tổng cộng bạn just experienced the Vietnamese state atmosphere with the Palestinian ambassador to Vietnam, Mr. Sadi Salama. I hope you had had a better understanding about Vietnamese traditional and cultural about date holiday and at the same time learn more about the Palestinian cultural and specialties. And now is to the next part of our program, our segment of Time Out with our reporter Lan Eng. This segment of Time Out is really useful for the experts who are going to spend this date holiday with the local in Vietnam. Tết, or Vietnamese Lunar New Year, is the most important festival that best epitomizes Vietnam's cultural identity. As people prepare for the holiday, streets get crazy, but then turn almost empty as stores and restaurants are closed. How are you as experts going to survive through at least four days of date in Vietnam? So we have some options for you. The first way to, you know, to spend your date time off work is traveling. So turn on your computer, Search for exotic destinations in Vietnam that you've never been to. Better still, on this occasion, you don't have to worry about trip sites being full up. Option two, do nothing. Simply take this time off to completely realize, eat lots of good food. Read your favorite books, buy some DVDs and watch your favorite movies. Option 3. Celebrate that holiday like a Vietnamese person. Now this is a perfect time for you to blend in with the local culture. But if, if you decide to do so, there's some things you need to remember because this is also a very sacred holiday for Vietnamese people. And my friends here who've been through one or several dates in Vietnam will show you some tips. Now, preparation is an essential part of Tet. Uh, you have to clean and decorate your house. The Vietnamese do this because they believe that that gets rid of last year's bad luck and brings in good luck for the new year. Come and roll your sleeves up, so to speak, in kitchen. Cleaning brought up in the kitchen as we sing alone. Buying flowers is a very important part of this. So, go out and buy some. Especially the indispensable symbolic types, like the peach blossoms in the north and the yellow apricot blossoms in the south. It's time to eat traditional food that is indispensable for an authentic Vietnamese Tet experience. The Vietnamese say, an Tet, which means eat well for Tet. Yeah? Here we have Bang Tung from the north. Bang Tet from the south, the plate of five fruits, chicken, plate of dried fruits, bamboo soup from the north, and bitter melon from the south. Woo! <laughs> yeah, when you have all of this, you should be ready for a fulfilling Tet celebration. And one of the most important moments of Tet has to be the Lunar New Year's Eve. In Vietnam, for New Year's Eve, people often make a small feast in order to invite their ancestors in to join them for Tet. For expats, though, I recommend going outside to enjoy the fireworks. You can find fireworks almost anywhere. They're everywhere. Go enjoy them. So after the Lunar New Year's Eve, the date holiday really begins. Well, Vietnamese people, they often visit family members and friends on this occasion to exchange best wishes for the coming year. And here are some tips for you if you want to visit a family during date. It's very important during the Tet um, season to remember the Zone Dot ritual. This is the ritual of being the first person to enter the house at, of the start of the new year. 
Um, if you have a good aura when you enter the house, this will give the host family good luck throughout the year. So my recommendation to you is not to be the first guest of the new year, because the family may blame you for the bad luck coming that year. If you do become the first guest of the year, remember to bring salt and water as gifts, for these are symbols of luck and prosperity. Oh, thank you. Come on. Come on. Uh, over Tet, Vietnamese people like to give each other lucky money, known in Vietnamese as Li Si. Um, in the past, lucky money was usually only given to children, which is not particularly fair, I don't think. Um, but now, um, friends, and you can give it to anyone, really. Um, the amount varies, but the important thing is that the note that you give has a little bit of red in it. Um, it doesn't matter what you give, as long as you give. So splash out and give the people you love a bit of money today. Very generous of you, thanks. Okay, so when you're invited to join a family for Tate, um, it's important that you do not refuse the food that is offered. It's considered bad luck if you don't eat it. Oh, wow. Mm. Oh, Thank you. Thank you. Lucky. You got two. Oh, I already have. Okay. Oh. Mm. Don't forget. Here, here, here. Mm. Oh, oh, let's all have some candy. Thank too. you. Also, if you want to impress your, your host, you can help them with the bang chun. Uh -huh. You might learn something here, too, because they know how to cut it and open it in a very special way. Now, what if the tables are turned and you're the host? You should always prepare some food and snacks for your guests. This is believed to bring luck to both you and your guests. You should also prepare some Lee C envelopes to exchange with your guests. Also, did you know that for the first three days of Tet, Vietnamese people don't sweep their floors? This is believed to sweep away all their good luck and money. So no matter how much garbage accumulates, just no. leave it until the fourth day. You can day. sweep it up, but don't throw out the trash. Why? That, that's like throwing out our luck for the next year. Oh gosh, I yes. have no idea. Okay, be very careful. Okay. okay. All right. <laughs> okay. So those are some of the most important tips uh, for your fifth celebration in Vietnam. I hope that you find them useful. And on this special occasion, I'd like to wish you good health and luck for the coming year. And thank you so much, my friends, for sharing your uh, experience with our audience. So shall we toast? More of this special episode of Expo Living on the occasion of the Lunar New Year of the GOAT. If you would like to provide feedback or comment on anything you see in our program, or you just want to be featured in the next episode in the coming year, feel free to email to us at expoliving at vtv.bn or youtube.com slash vtv 4 go or vtv 4bn for more information. On behalf of the VTV crew, thank you so much for being with us over the past year and we hope to receive your continuous support in the coming year. This is Expo Living, I'm Hoi Lung, and Happy Lunar New Year of the Goat. <laughs>